July 30, 2020, the fourth day of the Inclusive Arts Festival in Beijing, the theater director of Saitama Arts Theater in Saitama, Japan, introduced the organization and one of its special group Saitama Gold Theater, which is comprised by elderly drama amateurs. Saitama Arts Foundation as the designated administrator of Saitama Arts Theater and Saitama Hall, strives to promote performing arts and culture more, and for Saitama prefectural citizens to have full realization of affluent life in the local community. The artistic director is the most well-known drama director in Japan Yukio Ninagawa. When people think about Japanese theater, the name in the mind is Kabuki, but Mr. Ninagawa actually focuses on Shakespeare theater. Since 1998, Saitama Arts Theatre has been staging all of Shakespeare's plays in their Shakespeare series. He also really enjoyed work with elderly people. After World War II, the Japanese need to recover from the economy and the war. He was going to bring them into the arts to avoid difficulties. When considering the kind of repertoire that could only be staged by public theatres, I realized that cultural education was not the only thing to consider, it is also important to grab people's attention and stimulate their imagination. To this end, he launched the Saitama Gold Theater, a theatrical group catering solely to people aged 55 and over. By harnessing the energy of people with a lot of life experience, I thought we could create experimental works that push the boundaries of what a performance could be. The performers themselves are also afflicted by the numerous problems that face our aging society, from physical decline to mental issues, so putting on a show involves hard work, but at the same time, the performers have their own remarkable acting style that differs from that of professional actors and produces many poignant moments. The Saitama Gold Theater was launched in 2006 as a performing group for senior citizens under the idea of Ninagawa, old age is a proof that you experienced deep emotions and many days of ordinary lives. Physical expression using this personal history might help one to discover one's new perspective. It was the first elderly theater in Japan, they recalled that there were no budget and rehearsal references. When we published the audition flyers, we were shocked by the fact that there are more than 1200 people registered. We suddenly realized the society face a aging issue at that time. More than 22 million population older than 75 in 2025. That will be a big social issue at that time. Eventually, Mr. Ninagawa selected 28 male actors and 27 female actresses. The youngest actor was 62. This troupe features performers aged 55 or older, the average age as of 2015 is 76. The group has performed new works written specially for them by leading contemporary Japanese playwrights. In recent years, they were invited to perform Ravens, We Shall Load Bullets, at Maison de la Culture du Japon et Paris in 2013, Kwai Sing Theatre Auditorium, Hong Kong as a part of New Vision Arts Festival, and at Théâtre de la Ville, Paris in 2014. The theatre director and actors shared the rehearsal experiences. Minagawa was a very strict director and he didn't decline the requirement due to the actor's age. However, the fact is they face the difficulty of memorize the scripts. Sometimes they might forget what the director told to them yesterday. He yelled me during the rehearsal once and said your life is meaningless. I thought I will be throw out, but it doesn't happen. He still yells to me tomorrow. There was a project called 10,000's Gold Theater. The actors were in the age range from 60 to 91. Unfortunately, director Ninagawa has gone in May 2016. The theater faces a risk. Our board members agree to continue his mission. Finally, the repertory was finished and there were 1600 actors participated in the play. Right now, there are a total of 36 actors in the theater, and the administrators are exploring how to collaborate with those elderly actors consistently. In the online sharing discussion, two seniors introduced themselves. One of them is an architect who is 77 and joined the group when he was 62. He likes Minagawa's productions and he loves performing arts, so he decided to join in. I expect to be a star after working with Minagawa. Another actor states that she felt tired of looking after her families and she looked for a way that can care for her and help her to move out of the burdens. They both believe there is no physical or mental pressure resulting from the rehearsal. Also, their friends and families encourage them to do that. One of the important reasons is Minagawa is famous and they can see him when they come to see my performances. In the end, the general manager of Saitama Arts Theater said they invited young playwriters and directors for Golden Theater to give the elderly people fresh ideas as well as to inspire the young generations in their life and creation. In addition, Wood Dance Channel will introduce Kabuki as a Japanese traditional dance form later. Thank you for watching.